Welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating the creation of variables in the declaration section. I'll be performing the hands-on exercises using SQL Developer. I will also introduce you to, to SQL Star Plus and show you how to write programs through SQL Star Plus. I have SQL Developer open. I'm connected as the user HR through a connection called C1. Your PL SQL programs can be written within the SQL Worksheet window. The first program that I'm going to write is going to be a program that does not have a declaration section and this is to demonstrate the fact that the declaration section is an optional section. The body of a program begins with the word begin. I'm going to write a statement which is the DBMS output line statement that allows you to display strings on the screen and uh, the string that's being displayed is the word hello. Uh, the body of the program is terminated with the word end which is followed by a semicolon and you execute the statement with a forward slash. To run a, a PL SQL block in a SQL developer, you will select the run script button. It's the second icon which is there on this panel. I'm going to select it. It tells me that the block has completed successfully. Now because this was a DBMS output line statement, there was something that was displayed on the, sc on the screen which is the word hello and uh, what you can do is look at the DBMS output tab to see what was displayed on the screen. At this time nothing is being displayed, it's because the DBMS output has not been enabled. In order to enable it, you can select the enable DBMS output icon which is the first icon. I'm selecting it, it says a uh, set server output on. This is the command that enables uh, the DBMS output to be displayed on the screen. I'm going to clear uh, this screen as well as clear the output and repeat my run script. Select my run script button again. It tells me that the block was completed successfully. Coming back to DBMS output, notice that this time it displays the word hello on the screen. The next example that I'm going to show you is one that where I will declare a variable and um, the variable is declared in the declaration section which is before the word begin. It begins with the word declare and uh, between the declare and the begin you can define one or more variable declarations where each variable has a name, a data type, an optional size uh, followed by a semicolon. And the variable that I'm going to create is going to be called ename1 I'll, I'll call it as 1 ename1 one, which is varchar2 of 10. I'm going to leave the rest of the block uh, as it was earlier. Let me clear the screen as well as clear the output and uh, select my run script button again. I get an error and the error is because of the variable that I declared. I declared the variable to be of uh, of have a name beginning with a number and variables cannot, uh, variable names cannot begin with a number, they must begin with a letter. So let me now remove the number 1 Okay, uh, let me also clear the screen as well as clear any DBMS output and um, I've just removed the number 1. I've left the 1 at the end as is and I'm going to select the run script button. This time it tells me that the block was completed successfully. If I have a look at the DBMS output, it once again displays the word hello on the screen. If I wanted to display the value of the variable in the body of the program, then what I would do is remove the word hello which is in single quotes and replace it with the variable name. I have not enclosed the variable name in single quotes. A reference to a variable name in the body of the program will, will, will reference the value of the variable. So what will be displayed by this DBMS output line statement is the value contained in the variable which is uh, called ename1. Let me once again clear the screen of any outputs and uh, select my run script button once again. It tells me that the block was completed successfully. Coming back to the DBMS output tab, notice nothing is displayed on the screen. The reason being that even though you declared the variable and referenced the variable in the DBMS output line statement, there is no value contained in the variable. When no value is contained in a variable, it actually stores a null value. So what is being displayed is a null which is really nothing on the screen. Uh, we'll now uh, set a value to the variable uh, during its declaration 
you can uh, initialize a variable with a value uh, in the declaration section using an assignment operator which is a colon followed by the equal sign so after the data type and size I introduced a colon with an equal sign and because this variable was a character variable I'm going to enclose a, ver a, a string which is the word SID in single quotes and I'm now going to go ahead and uh, select the run script button it tells me that the block was completed successfully coming back to the DBMS output tab notice that the value contained in the variable is now being displayed as the value SID so here we looked at how to initialize a variable with a value during its declaration in my next example I'm going to demonstrate the use of the attribute constant for a variable here I have the variable called ename1 um, and between uh, the name of the variable and its data type I'm going to write the word constant constant would mean that uh, the value of the variable cannot change in the body of the program now let me clear the screen clear any outputs and select the run script button once again it tells me that the block was completed successfully coming back to the DBMS output tab it displays the value SID because of this DBMS output line statement now when you've declared a variable to be of constant type the value of that variable can be referenced any number of times in the program however its value cannot be changed that is if I try to change its value by forcefully assigning it to some other value let's say I want to uh, store the value new SID for the variable called ename1 I'm clearing the screen uh, and I'm going to execute the statement once again or uh, 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 run the script once again I get an error and the error says that ename1 cannot be used as an assignment target so once you've declared to be a variable to be of constant type you can reference its value however you cannot change its value in the body of the program now uh, the next example that I'm going to show you is the use of the uh, of the keywords not not null I'll, let me remove the word constant um, let me remove the assignment and uh, introduce the word not null so here I've declared a variable called ename1 varchar2 of 10 not null I'm going to clear any outputs that I have on the screen and I'm going to run um, this PLC equal block once again I get an error and it says that a variable declared not null must have an initialization assignment now you've declared the variable called ename1 you've set it to not null however remember that if you don't give it an initial value a value null is stored you've declared it to be of not null type so it becomes mandatory for you to assign a value to this variable you can do this using the assignment statement let me assign it the value of SID uh, selecting the run let me clear the screen so that there's no confusion and uh, let me select the run script button again this time I'm not getting an error okay it tells me that the block was completed looking at the output the output for the DBMS output line is still the name said uh, however over here I had uh, reinitialized it or uh, set a new value for the variable called new said and even though the value has been um, to uh, ha the, the new value the new set value has been stored in ename1 I was really doing nothing with it now what I'm going to do is modify this program and instead of uh, s storing the value new set one let me store the value null to for the variable called ename1 I'm going to clear the screen clear any outputs and select the run script button again I get an error and the error is says it's, a, it's an expression of wrong type and the reason is because what I did was stored tried to store the value null for the variable called ename1 when it was defined to be a not null type of variable so uh, in this example we looked at the val the the use of the not null attribute for a variable now the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, minimize a SQL developer and open SQL star plus uh, here I have a, a connection of through SQL star plus as the user HR and uh, what you can uh, do is write PL SQL prompts uh, PL SQL programs from a SQL prompt for example if I write uh, a simple program where uh, just like I, I had done earlier I was trying to display um, the string hello on the screen 
I'm writing the uh, same PL SQL block this time at the SQL prompt and it tells me that the PL SQL procedure was successfully completed however notice that nothing is displayed on the screen the DBMS output line should have displayed the word hello now when you're working with SQL star plus and you want to enable uh, the output of uh, enable DBMS output so that the uh, the uh, the results of DBMS output are redirected to the screen you issue the command set server out on this time it's uh, I've turned it on I'm going to repeat my forward slash and uh, it shows me the word hello which is the result of the DBMS output followed by PL SQL procedure completed successfully now when you're working with SQL star plus uh, one of the things that you might want to remember is uh, when you're writing a program it's not a good practice to write the program directly at the SQL prompt uh, what you should do is open a file by making use of an editor this can be done by using the ed command you say ed followed by a file name I can call uh, the file with any name I want for example if I want to call it as p2 I can say edit p2 and it tells me that uh, it cannot find the file that's fine I'm going to say do I want to create the file yes uh, I can write my program in the file in, in within uh, the editor notice that the editor that has opened was notepad I'm going to declare a variable called v1 which is of number type I'm going to set it to take a value of 55 I'm going to write the body of the program where I'm going to display the value of that variable followed by the end followed by a forward slash I'm going to file save file exit I've come back to the SQL prompt uh, what would have happened is a file called p2.sql would have been created I can now execute that program by typing the at sign followed by the name of the file so when I say at p2 the result uh, or the program will get executed it's displaying the value 55 because of the DBMS output line statement it tells me that the procedure was completed successfully so in this tutorial I introduced you to the declaration section I showed you how to write very very simple programs uh, using SQL developer as well as a SQL star plus I hope you find this tutorial useful for other videos tutorials and articles you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website thank you for your time and thank you for listening